introduction. Now is a very good time to take an interest in Bitcoin and invest in it. It has been going strong for 10 years and its popularity has soared. In order to make the best returns on Bitcoin investments, you need to understand what it really is and how it works. You also need to know the best way to obtain Bitcoins and the best investment strategies. This training will show you all of this and more. Many people think that Bitcoin is a scam, but it certainly isn't. However, there have been some scans in the cryptocurrency world, and you will find out how to avoid these and stay safe in this training. We have worked hard to ensure that everything in this training is explained in the simplest ways. Bitcoin and the underlying blockchain technology are fairly complex, but you will be able to easily understand by going through this training. Bitcoin started out with a value of zero and has hit highs of $10,000. It is a valuable commodity, and once you have your Bitcoins, you need to keep them safe. You will learn exactly how to do that. Although Bitcoin is a volatile commodity, it should be possible for you to make a good return on your investment if you follow the advice in this training. While there are no guarantees with any form of investing, the advice provided here has worked well for others in the past. It is Bitcoin. You've probably heard of Bitcoin, but you may not be completely sure what it is. That's okay, because by the time you've gone through this training, you will know what it is and how you can make money with it. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency, which is another term that you need to be familiar with. The other important thing that we will explain is the technology behind Bitcoin and most other cryptocurrencies, which is blockchain. Before we get into the details of Bitcoin, it is important that you understand what cryptocurrencies are and how they work. What are cryptocurrencies? In basic terms, a cryptocurrency is a medium for exchange online. A cryptocurrency has a number of cryptographical functions which are there to support financial transactions. Most cryptocurrencies use the blockchain technology platform, more on this a little later, as it offers immutability, transparency, and decentralization. Cryptocurrencies are not controlled by any central powers, not yet at least. This is deliberate because the whole idea of cryptocurrency and Bitcoin is that they provide immunity from government interference and control. A cryptocurrency can be transferred from one person to another by using public and private keys. There are minimal processing fees involved with cryptocurrency transactions, which are a part of their appeal. Usually, financial institutions have high charges for any monetary transactions. Cryptocurrencies were invented by accident. The inventor of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, created a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system and Bitcoin was a byproduct of this system. Before this, there had been numerous attempts to create a digital cash system, but all had failed. The key to the success of Nakamoto system was that it provided a decentralized financial network rather than the established centralized system. If you wanted to set up your own digital cash system, you would need to create a payment network that provided three key things. One, accounts. Two, balances. Three, transactions. A problem that all payment networks face is double spending. This is all about preventing spending the same amount twice. Up until the creation of Nakamoto's system, this had always been achieved using central server balance records. This is still in existence today. With a decentralized payment network, there is no central server. Instead, every single network entity or node has to perform its job properly. They all need to have a list of transactions so they can monitor if future transactions are a double spend or valid. All of the peers of a decentralized payment network have to agree on everything. There has to be complete consensus. If this doesn't happen, then the transaction will not take place. The problem was how to achieve this total consensus without a central server. Nakamoto figured this out. The Transaction Properties of Cryptocurrencies In order for a cryptocurrency system to work effectively, there has to be a number of properties in place. These are Immutable After a cryptocurrency transaction is confirmed, then it cannot be changed. Nobody in the world can change a cryptocurrency transaction, not even presidents or monarchs. It is an immutable record. Basically, if you send money to someone else, that's it. There is no turning back. So if you make a mistake or get scammed, then you are stuck with the situation. You do not have the opportunity to reverse the transaction. Pseudonyms Cryptocurrency accounts and transactions have no connection to real-world identities. You will receive a Bitcoin on an address which is a randomly seeming chain of about 30 characters. You can analyze the transaction flow but you can't usually connect the transaction to a real person through the address. Global transactions at speed. It doesn't take long to propagate transactions and confirm them. Usually, this all takes place in minutes. The network for cryptocurrency transactions is global, so it doesn't matter where the transaction originates and terminates. High security. 
The highest levels of transaction security are essential for a cryptocurrency network, and to this end, all funds are locked in a public key cryptography system. Only someone that has a private key can send cryptocurrency. This makes the system extremely secure. No permissions. A cryptocurrency system is a permissionless system. You do not require the permission of anyone or any authority to make a cryptocurrency transaction. There's no gatekeeper with a cryptocurrency system. The monetary properties of cryptocurrency. Now you know the transaction properties of cryptocurrency, you need to understand the monetary properties. These are, there is a controlled supply. Most cryptocurrencies have a limit on the number of tokens supplied. Taking Bitcoin as an example, there will be a decrease of supply over time and experts estimate that the final number of Bitcoin tokens will happen around 2140. Experts say that only 21 million Bitcoins will be the limit. To control the supply of cryptocurrency tokens, a schedule is written in the underlying code. Using this code, you can approximately calculate today the monetary supply of a cryptocurrency for any given future date. Bearer, not debt. With conventional or fiat money underwritten by a government, the bank account you hold is created by debt. All of the entries in your accounts are debts. It is really an IOU system. A cryptocurrency is not a debt. There has been a lot of controversy over the launch of cryptocurrencies because they are a direct attack on the monetary policy of most nations. Governments or central banks cannot change cryptocurrencies. Therefore, they are immune to inflation and deflation caused by the manipulation of the monetary supply. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency and a virtual type of money. It's really like having an online version of money or cash. You can use Bitcoin to purchase products and services, and more and more vendors are accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment these days. Some countries feel very threatened by Bitcoin and have banned it completely. There are no physical Bitcoin tokens. You may have seen pictures of Bitcoins, but these are fabrications. The worth of a Bitcoin resides in the private codes they have imprinted inside them. Every Bitcoin is just a computer file stored in what's called a digital wallet. We will discuss digital wallets in more detail in a later video. If you have a digital wallet, then other people can send you Bitcoins or fractions of them. You can also send Bitcoins or fractions to others using your digital wallet. Every Bitcoin transaction is recorded publicly using blockchain technology. This is a transparent network where anyone can trace the history of Bitcoin transactions. All records in the blockchain are immutable, meaning that you cannot copy transactions, change the number of Bitcoins owned, or use Bitcoins that you don't own. There are several ways that you can purchase Bitcoins, including You can purchase them using your native currency through a cryptocurrency exchange. You can sell products and services in exchange for Bitcoins. You can use a Bitcoin ATM. You can mine Bitcoins. The practice of mining Bitcoins has been going on for a while. In order to do this, you will need high-end computer equipment and lots of it. These computers perform complex algorithms to guess secret codes. If your computers guess right, you get Bitcoins as a reward. We will not be recommending mining as a way of obtaining Bitcoins in this training. There are only a limited number of Bitcoins, so the process of mining is now incredibly complex. You could spend years mining for Bitcoin and spend a great deal of money on computer equipment and electricity costs without earning any Bitcoins. You may be wondering why Bitcoins are so valuable. When Bitcoin first started, it had no value, but in five years, a single Bitcoin was worth around $1,000. At the time of creating this training, a Bitcoin is worth around $8,000. Why this jump? Well, there are a number of other things in life that have value. Diamonds and gold are a good example. Bitcoins have value because people are willing to trade them for real products and services and also buy them for cash. People like the idea that any governments or central banks do not control Bitcoins. They also like the fact that Bitcoin transactions are pretty anonymous. Yes, there is a record of all Bitcoin transactions but very few include real-world identities. Lowdown on Bitcoin investing. The first thing that you need to know is that Bitcoin is volatile. The value of a single Bitcoin has gone up and down over the years. This is not particularly a bad thing as other investments go up and down too. You need to be a smart investor with Bitcoin. Why does Bitcoin enjoy value jumps? So many people are reliant on the internet these days. People get very frustrated if they are out and about and cannot find a Wi-Fi connection to use the Internet with their mobile devices. Whether this is a good or a bad thing is of no consequence when it comes to Bitcoin investing. The important thing is that the growing use of the Internet is good for Bitcoin. 
Over the years since the launch of Bitcoin, it has attracted investors from all corners of the world. Being a true global digital currency that is available to all, in theory, it is no surprise that it has generated a lot of excitement. Another good reason why the value of Bitcoin has risen so rapidly is because it is a scarce resource that is actually useful. Most people know that there is only so much gold that we can mine. Each year, there is less and less gold left in the earth. Therefore, it has great value. You can apply the same logic to Bitcoin. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. As time passes, this number will dwindle and the value increases. It is now very hard to mine Bitcoin, and this is only going to get tougher. Investors really like the fact that Bitcoin represents predictable and sound monetary policy that all can verify. At any time, you can see how many Bitcoins are in circulation and how many new ones have been created. You can easily trade Bitcoin for some products and services. If you have a gold investment, then this is not a liquid asset. You would have to sell some of your gold stock for cash before you could purchase anything. It is very easy to make cross-border transactions using Bitcoin. There are no governments or banks involved. You can send Bitcoin securely in minutes to anywhere in the world. Transaction fees are very low compared to fiat currency transactions. We really have the Internet to thank for the rise in popularity and value of Bitcoin. The Internet has made the sharing of information easy wherever you are, and this concept will underpin the success of Bitcoin as a global and verifiable currency. The Price of Bitcoin You will not find an official price for Bitcoin anywhere. It is not the same as fiat currencies. It is all about how much someone is willing to pay for a Bitcoin or fraction of a Bitcoin. A good reference for this price is the Bitcoin price index provided by Coindesk, which you can find here. You will usually see the price as the estimate of the value of one Bitcoin. Most cryptocurrency exchanges will let you buy as many Bitcoins as you want and even offer fractions of Bitcoins for sale. When should you buy Bitcoins? There are no guarantees with any investments. The history of Bitcoin shows that it tends to increase in value really fast and then slow down and fall until it is stable. This is a cycle that you need to learn and understand. There are some great tools available that you can use to analyze the price history of Bitcoin. 1. Crypto Watch 2. Bitcoin Wisdom One thing about Bitcoin that it is really attractive to investors is that it is never affected by the financial stability of a country. So, if there is speculation that a major currency will fall, such as the UK pound with all of the Brexit issues, then if the currency devalues, this will have an impact on other world currencies. So, you need to think globally with Bitcoin. Don't just look at what is happening in the United States or Europe or China. How is the economy of the world changing? Go for a long-term Bitcoin investment. You may have read that there are people making excellent short-term gains trading Bitcoin. While this may be true, you need expert knowledge and it is a risky strategy. We strongly recommend that you go for a long-term Bitcoin investment strategy. Here is why. If you invested $1,000 in Bitcoin in October 2017, two years later in October 2019, you have made a profit of more than $700 providing you with a return of investment of over 70%. That is a staggering return. Despite these kinds of returns being possible, you should still treat Bitcoin as a risky asset to invest in. If you are not prepared to take high-risk investments, then maybe Bitcoin is not for you. You have seen an example of the kind of rewards that are possible, so you need to decide if it is right for you. Bitcoin Investment Strategies There are different ways that you can invest in Bitcoin. We will look at the most popular ways here. Long-term buying and holding. This is the Bitcoin investment strategy that we recommend. Here you will buy Bitcoin at a certain price and hold on to it for a period of time in the hope that the value will increase. You may also see this strategy called holding. When you decide to buy and hold, it is very important that you do not just take anyone's advice on whether Bitcoin will rise or fall. You need to know how Bitcoin works and do your homework using the tools available to come to a decision yourself. If you're going to adopt a buy and hold Bitcoin investment strategy, then we suggest that you do the following. 1. Do not invest more than you can comfortably afford to lose. As we said earlier, Bitcoin is a high-risk investment, and this should be in your thoughts at all times. 2. When you have purchased Bitcoins, don't leave them in an exchange wallet. Get your own wallet and move them there. We will discuss the different types of cryptocurrency wallet and their advantages and disadvantages in a later video. 3. Use a reputable exchange to make your Bitcoin purchases. This may cost you a bit more, but it is better to be safe than sorry. 4. Don't purchase all of your Bitcoins in just one trade. Use the principle of dollar cost averaging, DCA, and commit to purchasing a certain amount every month or more frequently throughout the course of the year. When you do this, you pay average prices during the year. Short-Term Bitcoin Trading 
As we said before, this is where you buy Bitcoins at low price and then sell them at a higher price to realize a profit. The time frame for these investments is short. We do not recommend that you start out with short-term Bitcoin trading. As you learn more about Bitcoin, you can move to a shorter-term trading strategy. It is certainly possible that there are some very large players in the Bitcoin market making profits regularly on short-term Bitcoin trades. You need to learn how to trade properly to make this work, which takes time and practice. Mining for Bitcoins In order to make any kind of profit with Bitcoin mining, you need to invest in a lot of high-end computer equipment and get the cheapest electricity that you can find. And then there are no guarantees. Mining has become a lot harder over the years. There are less and less Bitcoins to find and more and more people are mining. It is just not a cost-effective way to invest in Bitcoin in our opinion. Use the money you would spend on equipment and electricity to buy and hold Bitcoin instead. You may have heard for cloud mining for Bitcoin. The idea here is that you pay for a service that will mine on your behalf using the web. In our experience, these are either scams or so expensive an investment that you might as well just use the money to purchase your Bitcoins. Doubling your Bitcoins Have you ever seen a website that claims that they can double your Bitcoin holdings? Or maybe you have come across sites that claim that they will pay you high levels of interest every day on your Bitcoins. We have one word for these kind of websites. Scam. There are a lot of websites that offer high-yield investment programs, HYIP, and almost all of these are scams too. What happens here is that these sites take money from people all around the internet in exchange for high returns. They use the money they get from new people signing up to pay high returns to the initial investors, which creates a buzz. Then, guess what? A few months later, the website simply disappears. Most people lose their money and they have no way to get it back. Don't fall for these Ponzi scheme type scams. You cannot double the number of Bitcoins that you have using these sites. It is more likely that you will lose all of your Bitcoins. How Bitcoin really works. To be profitable with Bitcoin, you have to know how it really works. So in this video, we will explain everything that is involved, including the underlying technology, which is blockchain. We're not going to go into a lot of technical detail about blockchain, so don't worry. But you do need to understand the principles of it. You connect to the blockchain community using a computer network. This network has Bitcoin ledgers using blockchain. All Bitcoin transactions are compiled into blocks, and then these blocks connect in a chain-like formation. This is where the name blockchain comes from. The Bitcoin process. If you want to make a Bitcoin transaction, then you will use your wallet to send out a request to all of the nodes computers on the entire Bitcoin network. The nodes use special algorithms, a set of rules and calculations, which validate the Bitcoin transaction. Your Bitcoin transaction has to be verified and confirmed, and after this, it is combined with some other transactions to make a new data block and eventually a blockchain. All new blocks are added to the end of the blockchain. At this stage, the transaction is final and immutable. It usually takes between 10 minutes and 45 minutes to process a Bitcoin transaction. A Bitcoin transaction never happens immediately. There could be no changes to the transaction once it is finalized. The receiver of your Bitcoin transaction then sees this in their wallet. Bitcoin miners are essential. We have mentioned Bitcoin miners a couple of times in this training, and actually these people are very important. Why? Well, they are the keepers of the Bitcoin ledgers. If you think of a gold miner working tirelessly to find gold, Bitcoin miners are doing the same thing trying to find scarce Bitcoins. The Bitcoin miners verify and confirm all Bitcoin transactions. They really are the lifeblood of the Bitcoin system. Without them, the whole thing would not work. There would be no new blocks created for the blockchain. This is why they are rewarded occasionally with valuable Bitcoins. If blocks are not added to the blockchain, then no Bitcoin transactions will be finalized. This means that not only will Bitcoin payments fail to be sent and received, but there will be no new Bitcoins created. Bitcoin miners know that there are only a limited number of Bitcoins available, and as time passes, they will all be competing for a dwindling number. They just leave their Bitcoin mining computers running 24 hours a day to keep verifying and confirming transactions and trying to earn those elusive Bitcoins. No trust required. The design of Bitcoin and the underlying blockchain technology is such that no trust is required. It uses heavy encryption techniques to keep everything safe, hence the name cryptocurrency. There is no need for human trust in the Bitcoin network because it operates on tried and tested computer algorithms. It is virtually impossible to cheat the Bitcoin network because it is a public environment. It would take a ton of computing power to break down all the encryption, even if that were possible. So, it makes more sense to use this kind of power to mine the Bitcoin network instead. 
Your identity is protected on the Bitcoin network. All of your Bitcoin transactions are verified using a private and public key. You use your private key as your digital signature in your Bitcoin transactions, and network users can verify this by using your public key. Both of these keys are encrypted, so you can only use a public key if the correct private key is used. Public and private keys are very important for you to understand as a cryptocurrency investor. A public key is tied to a public address where you can deposit cryptocurrencies. You can use your public address to broadcast so that you can receive payments from other peers. Your private key is not for sharing with anyone, as it is essentially the password to protect your funds. This private key links to your public key for added security. Your private key is how your balance is determined through the Bitcoin network. The public and private key system has two major advantages. One, it is virtually impossible for cyber criminals to steal your identity and make fraudulent transactions. Two, you can be completely anonymous on the Bitcoin network if that is useful for you. So now you know how Bitcoin really works. In the next video, we will look at the various ways that you can acquire Bitcoins. How you can acquire Bitcoins. With the growing popularity of Bitcoin came a number of different methods for acquiring them. In this video, we will explain some of the most common methods for acquiring Bitcoins to bolster your investments. Purchase Bitcoins This is obviously the most simple and straightforward way to acquire Bitcoins. All you need to do is to use an exchange website such as Coinbase.com, and in most cases, you will be able to buy Bitcoins using your native currency. Some cryptocurrency exchanges have country restrictions, so you need to do your homework here to ensure that you can purchase in your country. There are some countries that have actually banned the buying and selling of Bitcoin, so if this applies to you, then you will need to find a creative way around this, which is beyond the scope of this training. Sometimes a single Bitcoin can be worth around $10,000. So to make Bitcoin investment available to all, most exchanges will sell fractions. In fact, a Bitcoin can be divided into 100 million units. Each of these units is called a Satoshi, after the founder of Bitcoin. We will give you our view on using cryptocurrency exchanges in the next video when we explain what you need to get started with Bitcoin investment. For now, here is our view of the best cryptocurrency exchanges for Bitcoin. Coinbase Coinbase is probably the best-known cryptocurrency exchange. If you have used a stock trading platform before, then the interface of Coinbase will make sense to you. You can fund your Coinbase account using bank transfers from the U.S. or with credit cards. Basically, you can exchange either U.S. dollars or cryptocurrency that you have for Bitcoin. Each trade that you make with Coinbase will attract a small fee which at the time of creating this training was 1.5% for Bitcoin purchases and 0.25% for transfers. The biggest issue with Coinbase among the cryptocurrency community is that you have to provide a lot of personal information. Sometimes Coinbase will close accounts for a variety of reasons. There are people that believe the website has a tie-in with some of the major banks and will not use it because of this. Coinbase does everything by the book as far as that is possible. This means that there's much less chance of site closure than with other cryptocurrency exchanges. Kraken. In 2011, Kraken was formed for the buying and selling of cryptocurrencies. You can buy and sell Bitcoin on Kraken as well as other popular cryptocurrencies. A good feature of Kraken is that it has a number of currency pairings such as USD with Bitcoin, and it supports many more fiat currencies than Coinbase. The fees are lower too. Kraken has a very good reputation in the cryptocurrency community. If you are interested in trading Bitcoin, there are a number of good features such as margin trading. The biggest criticism of Kraken is that the platform can be counterintuitive and confusing at times. As a newcomer to Bitcoin, investing, we do not recommend that you use Kraken first. Once you have some experience under your belt, then it is a great platform to migrate to. Poloniex Poloniex is a cryptocurrency exchange based in the United States that has a high volume of trades. The biggest problem with Poloniex is that it doesn't accept fiat currency. Once you have some Bitcoin, you can use this exchange for trades as there is margin trading for more than 90 pairs. Poloniex has very low fees, typically well below 0.25%. Unfortunately, it has a pretty bad rap for customer support and it is not that easy to withdraw funds from the exchange. They can also close your account for any reason, which is not good. Bittrex This is a no fiat currency trading platform. Bittrex holds most of its funds offline in a similar way to Coinbase, making it more secure. The customer service provided by Bittrex is very good, but it is not as beginner-friendly as some of the other exchanges. A lot of beginners start with Coinbase, but you will have to provide a lot of personal details with this exchange. If this doesn't bother you, then it is a good choice. There are many cryptocurrency exchanges available. 
We recommend that you do your homework to see which support your country and suit you the best. Cash exchanges. Cash exchanges are an alternative to cryptocurrency exchanges. Here you can pay with cash for your Bitcoins and you will trade directly with the owner of the Bitcoins. A good example is local Bitcoins, where you can trade in over 7,700 cities and 248 countries. You can buy and sell Bitcoins using this cash exchange. Another alternative cash exchange for the buying and selling of Bitcoins is Wall of Coins. Most cash exchanges do not have expensive fees, but sometimes you have to pay fees for successful trading. We recommend that you use a cash exchange that provides an escrow service to protect your funds. Other Cryptocurrencies for Bitcoin If you happen to have other cryptocurrencies, then you can trade these for Bitcoins pretty easily. One of the easiest places to do this is at shapeshift.io. An account is not necessary to make a small trade. All you need to do to exchange your other cryptocurrencies for Bitcoin is to enter the amount for trading or conversion, add your Bitcoin address, and the refund address for your cryptocurrency. It just takes a few minutes to exchange for Bitcoins. Get paid using Bitcoins. It is easy to be paid in Bitcoins. All you need is your own wallet for Bitcoin, and you can receive payments. You can get a free Bitcoin wallet at Coinbase or at blockchain.com. It just takes an email address to get your wallet. Once your wallet is set up, you can receive payments in Bitcoin. You can generate a QR code and then send this to the person that you will receive the Bitcoin payment from. There are a number of ways that you can be paid in Bitcoins, and here are some of the most popular methods. Carry out work for Bitcoins. You will find a number of different types of work that you can perform in exchange for Bitcoins. A lot of these are online and popular with freelancers across the world. When you are paid with Bitcoin, you do not have to wait for a bank transfer, which can take days to reach your account. You can have your Bitcoins in minutes. Employers or customers like paying in Bitcoins too, as they do not have to pay high transaction fees associated with bank transfers, especially if their workers live in another country. You can sell products and services. Whether you own a conventional brick and mortar store or an online store, you can receive payments from customers in Bitcoin. With the growth of Bitcoin, there are bound to be customers that hold Bitcoin and see it as a forward-thinking and convenient way to make payments. It is easier for customers to transfer as well as they can just make the payment from their Bitcoin wallet. Of course, you will receive the payment in Bitcoin pretty fast too. This is a win-win for you and your customers. If you have an online store, there are a number of scripts or plugins you can use to accept payments via Bitcoin. You must ensure that you set everything up correctly because you don't want your payments ending up in someone else's wallet. For a brick-and-mortar business, you can start accepting payments via Bitcoin simply by printing the QR code of your Bitcoin wallet for customers to use. A customer can use their smartphone to scan the QR code and then make the payment. Be sure to tell all of your customers that you accept Bitcoin as a means of payment. Add your details to coinmap.org, which will let Bitcoin users know that you take it as a form of payment. There are similar websites you can post to as well. Why not use Bitcoin as a way of receiving tips? This is easy to do online by setting up a Bitcoin payment gateway. If you have a blog and provide useful content, for example, some of your readers will be happy to send you a tip using Bitcoin. Websites that pay in Bitcoin There are many websites available that will pay you in Bitcoins, usually small fractions, for completing certain tasks. Some of these tasks include completing surveys, downloading mobile apps, watching videos, playing games online, click on ads, sign up for trial offers, shop online, answer questions, refer friends. Some of the websites just need the address of your Bitcoin wallet. Others will require you to create an account with them. You can perform most of these tasks in minutes and earn fractions of Bitcoins. If you value your time, you may not be interested in doing this. Bitcoin faucets. Most people have not heard of Bitcoin faucets. What they do is give away fractions of Bitcoins for free at specific times. This drives a ton of traffic as lots of people want these free Bitcoin fractions and sometimes these faucets take a long time to load. There are some Bitcoin faucets that just give away Satoshis. Other faucets require that you complete some small tasks to earn your Satoshis. Before you get too excited by Bitcoin faucets, you need to know that they can steal a great deal of your time for fractions of Bitcoins. Bitcoin mining. We have mentioned how important Bitcoin miners are to the Bitcoin network. If miners didn't exist, then there would be no transactions or new Bitcoins created. Bitcoin miners can find Bitcoins, which is their reward for their efforts. When Bitcoin first launched, it was fairly common for Bitcoin miners to receive 50 Bitcoins when they mined a single block. But as every block was mined, the number of available Bitcoins for rewards diminished. Now, you will get a lot less Bitcoins for mining. 
However, with the prices rising, some people still see it as a worthwhile task. But Bitcoin mining is not an easy thing to do. You need some powerful computers to be a successful Bitcoin miner. It is now a lot more difficult to mine new blocks, and solving the complex cryptographic functions is really tough. There is also a lot of competition in Bitcoin mining now, making the task even more difficult. These days, most blockchain miners work together in pools, and they split any rewards that they receive for their efforts based on the amount of work that their computers have done. It is not cheap to participate in Bitcoin mining these days. You need powerful computers to solve the cryptographic functions. Forget about using a high-end desktop to perform Bitcoin mining. You will have to invest in some serious hardware even to join a Bitcoin mining pool. It is recommended that you use an ASIC chip to have any success with Bitcoin mining. These chips and high-end computers also consume a lot of power. The other thing that you need is knowledge. To set up a Bitcoin mining system, you will have to pay experts to do this. We are not saying that it is not possible to be successful with Bitcoin mining over the long term, but you will have to make a significant investment to get started. Getting ready for Bitcoin training. We hope that we have convinced you in this training that Bitcoin investing can make you a lot of money. You may have heard how others have purchased Bitcoins in the past and ended up selling them for a huge profit. It is possible, and there's no reason why you can't do this too. There are certainly experienced Bitcoin traders out there that make a lot of money from their trades. They may not be successful with every trade, but overall, they make consistent profits. The thing is that trading Bitcoin successfully is not an easy thing to do. You really have to be prepared. It is not impossible for someone just starting out with Bitcoin to be successful, but you have to be financially and mentally ready for this. Bitcoin trading is all about high risk and high reward. The key to success is to buy at low prices and then sell at higher prices. While this is obvious, it is not that easy to do. A lot of newcomers to Bitcoin trading end up panicking when they are making trades. After all, they are dealing with digital currency that is worth thousands of dollars. Panic levels will rise even more if you are using your savings to trade or your pension fund. Strategies for Bitcoin Trading If you are really interested in Bitcoin trading, then the first thing that you need to realize is that you need to use common sense and maintain self-control. Don't go into it thinking that you are going to make a ton of money in a day. If you get too greedy, then you are very likely to fail. Learn and get as much practice as you can. You need to learn everything that you can about Bitcoin trading before you start to do it for real. Knowledge is great, but there is nothing like experiencing how Bitcoin trading works in the real world. To give yourself a good start with Bitcoin trading, sign up with a cryptocurrency exchange that will allow you to use a demo account to experience how things work in the real world. You will see real-time prices for Bitcoin, and it will help you to get used to the Bitcoin trading interface. You need a trading plan. Successful Bitcoin trading relies on having a good strategy in place. Sure, you might get lucky with your first few trades, but sooner or later your luck will run out and this can be very expensive. One of the biggest mistakes that newcomers to Bitcoin trading make is that they follow the news, see that a lot of other people are making Bitcoin trades, and this compels them to do the same thing. Experienced traders like this because it will force the Bitcoin price up and they can profit from previous purchases. Don't follow trends blindly. Create a plan that defines the price that you should purchase Bitcoins for and the price that you should sell them at to realize the profit that you want. If you stick to a plan like this, then you will significantly reduce the risk of panicking if you suddenly see prices fall. Practice with small amounts. When you are starting out with Bitcoin trading, only invest small amounts with trades. This is all part of your learning curve in early training. No matter how good an opportunity seems, resist the temptation to go all in. Use your demo account to perform a lot of trades before you start spending real money. If you clean out your demo account, then this is not a big deal, but losing all of your real money is completely devastating. Keep your emotions in check. The thought of losing money can be really alarming to you. We have told you many times in this training that Bitcoin is volatile, and in one day the price can go down by a significant amount. The good thing is that the price can rise significantly in no time at all as well. You must keep your emotions in check if you want to be successful with Bitcoin trading. Thinking logically will always be the best strategy. Never let your emotions determine which Bitcoin trades you should or shouldn't make. It is understandable that you will be excited about the opportunities that Bitcoin trading offers, but we strongly recommend that you take this a step at a time and learn everything that you can about trading. Use a few demo accounts to practice with before you start investing real money. The more accustomed you are with the trading environment, the better. 
If you make mistakes with your demo account, work out what went wrong and avoid the same mistake in the future. Real Life Bitcoin Investment Strategies In an earlier video, we provided you with a lowdown on Bitcoin investing. In this video, we will look at some of the real life Bitcoin investment strategies that are working well for some savvy investors. Many people are jumping on the Bitcoin investment bandwagon nowadays because of the price rises, but most of these people fail because they are ill-prepared. They do not have the advantage of going through this training like this to help them like you do. Throughout this training, we have made no secret of the fact that Bitcoin is a volatile digital currency and it goes up and down in value on a regular basis. That is why we recommend that you adopt a long-term approach to your Bitcoin investing so that if the price does drop, you give it time to recover. So here, we will take a more in-depth look at some of the real-life methods that successful Bitcoin investors use to make a profit. The Dollar Cost Averaging Method We mentioned this briefly in video 2. This really is the best Bitcoin investment method for beginners because it removes the need to enter the Bitcoin market when the timing is right. A lot of novice Bitcoin investors spend a lot of time and really stress out waiting for the price of Bitcoin to fall to the right level. When you use the dollar cost averaging method for your Bitcoin investing, you will spread your risk over a time period. All you need to do is make purchases at regular intervals and then hold them in your secure wallet. Here's an example of how this works. Let's say that each week you can spare $100 to invest in Bitcoin. So you will make a purchase every week for $100 and some weeks you will receive more Bitcoins for your money and others you will get less. There is no need for you to study Bitcoin price charts for hours. All you need to do is have the discipline to make those $100 purchases every week. You don't have to wait around for the right price drops just to make your purchase anyway. When you use the dollar averaging method, you will find that your profits average out when you decide to sell. You might not achieve huge profits using this method, but if you sell when the Bitcoin price is high, then you will still make a good return. Investing a lump sum into Bitcoins. This method is definitely not one for the faint of heart, but we want to cover all our bases here. When you invest a lump sum in Bitcoins, you will purchase them at a specific price point. There is an element of risk when you do this. Let's assume that you have $50,000 to invest. Naturally, you want to get as many Bitcoins as possible for your investment. In order to have the best chance of doing this, you have no choice but to wait until the Bitcoin price goes down. There is no other alternative here. You must wait and time your entry into the Bitcoin market as well as you can. The problem is that in practice, the price of Bitcoin fluctuates very often, so predicting the next price dip is really tough to do. If you have a lump sum to invest right now, we wouldn't advise that you start with this. It takes experience to make a good judgment of the right price dip. Even the experts get this wrong sometimes. When you are new to Bitcoin investing and want to invest a lump sum, you may see a price dip and then think to yourself, if I just hang on for a while, it may go down even more. Or, what if the price never reaches my low point? The same scenario applies to selling your lump sum investment. How do you know the best price to sell your Bitcoins for? It may be very difficult to sell at the prices that you need to make the profit you planned for. If you sell too soon and the price goes up even more, then you will criticize yourself heavily. Think what you could have done with all of that extra profit. Obviously, a lump sum investment provides you with much higher profit than the dollar cost averaging method if you get the timing just right. Bitcoin Investing Hedge Fund You may not be aware of this, but there are actually cryptocurrency hedge funds available that include Bitcoin. This could be a good alternative for you if you do not want to learn about Bitcoin investing that you will need to do if you want to use other investment strategies. The biggest drawback with any hedge fund is the expensive performance and management fees. Cryptocurrency hedge funds will insist that you pay the management fee up front. Usually, these fees are in the region of 2% of your investment, so if you want to invest $100,000, then you are going to have to pay around $2,000 as a management fee, which leaves you with $98,000 for investing in cryptocurrencies. You will be appointed a hedge fund manager, and they work on a profits percentage basis. This can be as high as 20%, so if you were able to secure a $40,000 profit from your investment, then you will have to pay $8,000 to your hedge fund manager. These figures may startle you, and cryptocurrency hedge funds are not going to be everyone's idea of a good thing. But when you think about it, you will have totally hands-off investing here, which can make big profits for you. Bitcoin Investing Best Practices We want you to be a successful Bitcoin investor. Although nothing is ever guaranteed when investing in cryptocurrencies, there are certain practices that you can follow that will maximize your chances of success. One. Understand how Bitcoin works. We have given you all the information that you need in this training to understand how Bitcoin really works. 
you need to know the principles of blockchain and how Bitcoin trades are made. Don't get caught up in the technicalities, but make sure that you have a firm understanding of Bitcoin before you make any trades. Two, go for long-term investment. You may have heard a lot of stories about traders who make money from Bitcoin trades every day. Some of these may be true, but these people have a lot of experience and know what they are doing. Go for a long-term investment strategy, buy and hold instead, to battle against the volatility of Bitcoin. 3. Be wallet secure. We devoted an entire video on the different types of wallets for Bitcoin and their security issues. Online wallets are the least secure and hardware wallets are the most secure. For convenience, it works the other way around with online or hot wallets being the most convenient and offline or cold wallets being the least convenient. Bitcoins are very valuable, so you need to have the right wallets to protect them. If you're going to trade regularly, then just keep enough Bitcoins in an online wallet to do this and keep the rest in your cold wallet. If the thieves get hold of your private keys, then you can say goodbye to your Bitcoins. 4. Use reputable exchanges to buy and sell Bitcoins. Due to the high value of Bitcoins, there are plenty of thieves and scammers out there who want to steal yours from you. Only use a reputable cryptocurrency exchange such as Coinbase or Kraken to buy and sell your Bitcoins. Always check out a cryptocurrency exchange thoroughly. Do they have a track record? Are there user reviews? If you can't find these things, then look for another exchange. If an exchange is making promises of Bitcoin deals that seem too good to be true, then move on. 5. Watch Bitcoin Trends It is always a good idea to keep an eye on the price fluctuations of Bitcoin. Use tools like Bitcoin Wisdom and Crypto Watch to stay in the loop. This is especially important if you are thinking about investing a lump sum into Bitcoin. You want to buy at the lowest price and sell at the highest price. 6. Avoid Bitcoin trading initially. Once you get more experience as a Bitcoin investor, then you can try your hand at Bitcoin trading. We do not recommend that you start trading right away. You need to learn a great deal about Bitcoin pricing and be able to effectively control your emotions to trade successfully. There are demo accounts available that you can use to practice Bitcoin trading. Use these to the fullest and learn from any mistakes that you make before you start using real money to trade Bitcoins. 7. Accept that Bitcoin is volatile and high risk. Bitcoin is a highly volatile digital currency. This means that there are opportunities to make significant gains and the risk of losing a lot of money too. You need to accept this and always bear it in mind to be a successful Bitcoin investor. 8. Avoid scams. Unfortunately, there are many cryptocurrency scams. Bitcoins are very valuable, and thieves will do everything that they can to steal them from you. Watch out for fake exchanges, phishing in emails, and too-good-to-be-true Ponzi schemes. 9. Avoid Bitcoin mining. Do not get involved in Bitcoin mining when you are starting out. You will need to make a significant investment in high-end computer equipment to have any chance of success, and it just makes more sense to use this money to purchase Bitcoins instead. Conclusion. If you have gone through this training from start to end, you have a strong foundation in Bitcoin and can take this forward to start making sound investments. This is just the start for you. So we urge you to track the trends with Bitcoin and to keep abreast of all new developments with this cryptocurrency. There have been fortunes made through Bitcoin investing and trading, but it is not a get rich overnight situation. You need to develop an investment plan and only make investments that you can afford. Initially, we strongly recommend that you approach Bitcoin investing as a long-term investment. With more and more businesses realizing the power of Bitcoin, you will be able to use yours in more places to make purchases in the near future. If you have a business yourself, then we strongly recommend that you provide your customers with the choice of making Bitcoin payments. If you are concerned about the future of Bitcoin, then there's no need for this. It is growing and here to stay. The fact that you can now purchase Bitcoins from ATMs speaks volumes. The blockchain technology that supports Bitcoin is now considered to be the future of online financial transactions and supply chain management. So now, it is over to you. You need to take action and follow the advice in this training. Going through this training will make you smarter. Taking action has the potential to make you richer. Remember to start small and use a reputable cryptocurrency exchange like Coinbase.com. Also, get a secure wallet to transfer your Bitcoins and keep them safe. If you see a cryptocurrency offer that's too good to be true, then it probably is. Avoid anything that claims to sell Bitcoins at way below market value or will guarantee returns. This is all a scam. Nobody can double your Bitcoins either, so steer clear of this as well. We hope that you found Bitcoin Breakthrough informative and helpful. 
Get started today with your Bitcoin investing. We wish you every success on your Bitcoin journey and remember that you always need to keep learning. The smartest investors are the ones that usually make the highest profits. Your valued customer, would you like to discover a shortcut to profit from Bitcoin? If so, pay close attention to this very limited, special offer. You will only see this once. First off, thanks so much for purchasing the guide that will teach you all the skills you need to profit from Bitcoin. If you follow the step-by-step -step guide, you will be heading straight to that goal. But what if you could do it even faster? And what if you could ensure that you get the absolute best results possible and stay focused? In short, making sure that this is a real success. Now the good news is that you can. For a limited time, you can get access to the video upgrade to the guide you just purchased at a very low price. This powerful upgrade will make it easier to get started and stay committed to your ultimate goal. And just to be clear, this is an exclusive upgrade for customers only. Why do you need to upgrade to the video version of my guide? Did you know that most people learn a lot faster when they see something being done on video other than just by reading about it? That's because most people out there are visual learners. How do you normally learn the best? Although the guide you just purchased gives you a step-by-step -step approach to profit from Bitcoin, experience tells us that it requires learners to pay very close attention to the details to get the best results possible. If you miss any of the most important details or do things the wrong way, you may miss out on the full benefits offered inside the guide. For that very reason, I've put together a video version to make it easier to get positive results quickly. The video version of the guide you just purchased will help you avoid missing any important key details that you might miss by only reading the guide. Stay focused and accountable and follow through and make sure you get ongoing results. Ensure that the work you put in now keeps on giving you benefits long into the future. Are you ready to learn all the skills you need to profit from Bitcoin a lot faster? If the answer is yes, click the link below. Of course, you're probably wondering how much this is going to cost, right? First off, cost is the wrong word. This upgrade is an investment that will pay for itself many times over. This is the next best thing to having an expert on the subject right beside you, showing you how it's done. Of course, hiring an expert would easily set you back hundreds of dollars. Luckily, you're not going to have to invest anywhere near that today to get the next best thing. Not only will you avoid many of the most common mistakes that people make when trying to profit from Bitcoin, you'll notice immediate positive results in your achievements. And it's about to get even better. When you upgrade today, you'll also get this exclusive fast action bonus, fast action bonus high quality MP3s of the entire video version of the training valued at $27. Don't have time to watch videos? I'm also providing you with 10 MP3s that you can use while you're on the go. Listen to them in the car, at home, or even at the office. All day, every day. And here's what's really great about this. You don't have to decide anything today. You get a full 30 days to go through the video training and decide if this is really for you. If for any reason or no reason at all, you're not 100% satisfied with everything you get inside, simply let me know and I'll refund every penny of your tiny investment, no questions asked. Here's how to get instant access to the video version today. Simply click the link below, enter your information, and you'll get instant access to the entire video training version plus the Fast Action Bonus MP3s. But please don't wait. You must grab this right now. In fact, if you close this page, you may never have the opportunity to upgrade to the video version of this ever again at an investment this low. Are you ready to make things happen a lot faster? If you prefer to learn by being shown how to do something and you want to get results quickly, this is for you. If you're really serious about profiting from Bitcoin, this is for you. And if you're one of those people that's a visual learner, you need this. Here's to becoming the most productive you that you can be. Remember, if you close this page, you may never see this again at such a low investment. There's no risk. Try this out for 30 days and then decide if it's for you. It doesn't get any easier than that. Void Bitcoin and Cryptocurrency Scams Although Bitcoin is certainly not a scam, there are plenty of people out there that will try and scam you out of your precious Bitcoins. Like any other high-value commodity, some people will do everything that they can to get their hands on Bitcoins. So, in this video, we will look at some of the most common scams that you need to avoid. Bitcoin exchanges that are fake. We would always recommend that you use a cryptocurrency exchange that has an established reputation and have been operating for a few years. In this training, we have told you about Coinbase, Kraken, Poloniex, and Bittrex. There are others too, such as CEX.io, Bitstamp.net, and Changely.com. There are so many cryptocurrency exchanges available today that it will be impossible for us to vouch for any of them. You need to conduct your own due diligence here and find out the history and look for reviews from users. 
If you see an exchange offering rates that are just too good to be true, then be very suspicious. Unfortunately, there are fake exchanges that look like the real thing, and then when you try to trade with them, they will steal your Bitcoins and you will never see them again. These fake exchanges prey on newcomers to the Bitcoin space. They offer the opportunity to purchase Bitcoins for up to 20% lower than you would see on reputable sites like Coinbase. Unfortunately, some new people fall for this scam. You know better now. Another sign of a fake exchange is where they offer to purchase your Bitcoins from you at a higher than average price and then send you the amount in US dollars to your PayPal account. This will never happen and they will just steal your Bitcoins. Phishing Scams These are performed using email. The aim is to get the login details for your online wallet. So you will receive an email from a domain name that looks like Coinbase.com, for example, that is not from the genuine site. It might be from Coinsbase.com, pretending to be Coinbase.com, or they use other tricks. If you fall for this kind of phishing scam and use your Coinbase.com login details to log into the fake website, then the scammers then have your information and can log into your Coinbase account, lock you out of your own account, and steal all your Bitcoins. Malware Scams These are nasty. You'll be asked to click a link in an email or on a website that will download malware on your computer without you knowing it. Usually the malware is a keylogger which will record everything that you type and send this back to the scammers. So, if you type in your Coinbase username and password, this will be shared with the thieves. Never click on any links in emails or on websites that you are not 100% sure about. If you notice something being downloaded, then stop it immediately. Ponzi Scams If someone offered you a guaranteed return on your investment, then you would be interested, right? Well, here's the thing. Nobody can offer you this kind of guarantee with cryptocurrencies. There is no such thing as a risk-free investment. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are volatile by their very nature. If someone tells you that they can guarantee a daily 10% return on investment, they are a scammer. A Ponzi scheme pays off the early members with the investments made by new members. It has been going on for years, and so many people fall for new ones. The best way to avoid Ponzi scheme scans is to always bear in mind that if it seems too good to be true, then it probably is. Mining Scams There's a lot of interest in Bitcoin mining. Cloud mining is a concept where you do not have to invest heavily in the necessary high-level computer hardware for Bitcoin mining. Simply join a group and the mining is done for you. Of course, you will need to pay for this privilege. While there are legitimate cloud mining programs, there are a number of scammers as well. Take a good look at the website to see if they have a secure HTTPS domain and also search for reviews about the company on search engines. We don't recommend that you get into Bitcoin mining when you are starting out. If you do like the idea of cloud mining, then you must do your homework, otherwise you run the risk of scammers taking your money for nothing in return.